Another thing they're very proud of is over 40,000 people in the breathing business here, and also 400 stallions standing in stud. On the breathing business in Canada, here again is Sharon Smith. The 13-year-old trotting stallion Dream of Glory was a major stakes winner as a racehorse in the U.S. He's now at stud at Armstrong Farm in Ontario and is part of the growing standard bred breeding industry in Canada. His daughter Vicky's Carolyn is the leading Canadian contender in tonight's Breeders' Crown race. Many Canadian breds race well in Canada, but John Hayes, president of the Canadian Trotting Association, says it's vital that Canadian breds become fully competitive in open company. We're looking for the big horse in Ontario that can be the favorite in the little brown jug and I think that's and I don't mean specifically Ontario it could be British Columbia or Quebec but as long as he's a Canadian bred and he's a favorite in the jug I think we've accomplished something there's work going on to accomplish that goal Charles Armstrong for example owns shares in 19 good US stallions buys well-bred fillies to upgrade his broodmare band and is trying to stand the kind of stallions who will finally attract U.S. mares in large numbers. Leading three-year-old Pacer Legal Notice will stand here next year, so good mares should come. Like Americans would rather breed at one time, rather travel 700 miles across state rather than come to, across the border now, but I kind of think that because they're coming up here racing, they're finding it's not as big of a trouble as they thought it was. Charles Armstrong's father and uncle established the farm over 30 years ago with the dream of breeding good horses. The Armstrong family has already done that, but the dream remains of breeding even better horses in Canada. And many of these mares are carrying future Breeders' Crown contenders right now. You'll have a chance to see some of those Canadian bred horses coming up in our sixth race of Junior Free For All. It's just all part of our Breeders' Crown Championship Series from Ontario, Canada, coming up after this timeout. 